And the other thing, too, is where I'm, where I'm getting a little annoyed with some of these pro-choice people is they keep invoking, like, freedom rights and the Constitution, but then in other circumstances, they make fun of people like us for saying that. And I think what it comes down to is they want freedom to do certain things, but they also want alleviation of responsibility. And that's where a lot yeah. of these people keep, you know, like, like I, I've had those arguments with my friends, too, about women choosing to have sex with men and all that. And it's like, it just seems like they're incapable of holding the women accountable. And it's like, am I going to defend deadbeat dads? No. Am I going to defend rapists? No, of course not. But there's a point where it's like, if you choose to repeatedly have sex unprotected with a man that wouldn't be a good father, you can't be like, oh, I just got pregnant. It's like, come on, you, you knew that was a high risk. Yeah. yeah. And th that's the thing. That's the consistency thing that we see, and that's one that's, one that's been coming up with her body, her choice type of type yeah. of situation. Also, when you talk about the COVID, like they said with Canada, Trudeau's like, yeah, you can come into our country to have abortions, but you have to be vaccinated. <laughs> you, know, you don't really get a choice on that in order to do it. And um, so that was something that was being discussed. But people say it's about the other life. It's about protecting the other lives. So the people who say, oh her body, her choice in abortion isn't the same as her body, her choice in COVID because COVID is supposed to protect other people. I'm like, hey, well, also in this, don't you understand that people are coming from a point of view where they say that is that law, that limitation is to protect the unborn child. That's why we're saying you shouldn't be able to do this. And this whole idea that women are not smart enough or capable enough to make different adjustments when they don't, when they realize they won't be able to actually have that, to pretend that some women out there, I know there's still a fraction, actually use abortion as a form of birth control, which is just crazy to me, but people do things that I don't agree with for various reasons, but they'll be able to calculate. There was people who were literally talking about wearing masks during sex in order to protect their partner from getting COVID. So you think those sorts of people also won't be able to now adjust and use several forms of prophylactics in order to change that or do the, the ones that were, most people are not really against or just like the ones after. Yes, there are people on the political right, mostly the religious zealot type of people who are saying yeah. we have to just have it completely banned. A few people would actually go after birth control pills, but it's nowhere close to popular enough to actually get widespread passed and like a state level. I'd be very surprised to see that happen. You, if, if that happens and it changes, I'll come back and you can call me out and I'll say that I was wrong, but I just don't really see that happening. Yeah, same here. It's like it's one of those like cats out of the bag things. Cause I think of what uh, our guy Rollo Tomasi says about birth control changing civilization more than the atomic bomb because it completely mm -hmm. changes reproductive strategy. It changes who women will sleep with, how often, how young, all that. And it's like – now that that's into existence, people aren't going to throw all that away and go back to, OK, I'm only going to get married at 18. Yeah. I'm going to be a virgin on my way. Like that's not coming back. And I, I don't want to overly romanticize those days either. But I do think we're going through a transitional phase of, you know, as I was debating my friend about like how many women are single into their 30s, how many women ride the cock carousel and don't settle down and end up miserable. Like I think we're going through that transitory phase where we have to figure out, OK, how do we. Or how do we still end up with happy, successful people, but with this new thing factored in, which has some benefits, but also has some consequences? Yeah. yeah. Thank you for listening. This has been a clip from an actual longer recording that I'll try to leave a link to on the screen or somewhere around here where you're listening to this. Presents. <laughs> Presents. Pendants. Pendants. Peasants. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay.